Trump's administration recently proposed a plan to pay for the wall between Mexico and the United States with a 20% tax on all imports from Mexico. NBC 26's Eric Kress looks at how consumers and small businesses could be affected. Over 70% of the avocados, tomatoes, and tequila in the U.S. come from Mexico. And if this tax goes through, it's likely going to cost all of us, including the grocery stores that buy the goods, more to get them here. Here at La Popular Supermercado in Green Bay, about 75% of the products on the shelves come from Mexico. I am trying to make my customers happy, trying to bring what, what they like. Nora Grajeda manages to make ends meet at her multicultural grocery store, but like any small business, it can be a grind. You know, I am a single mother and I have to provide everything to the house. And the potential of a 20% border tax on Mexican goods scares her because she would likely have to pay more and charge more. I've been here for three years and I have the same prices in, in many, many of my, um, of my products. Some economists say that prices at grocery stores would have to go up just to cover their costs. Consumers absolutely positively would notice uh, an increase in price in some things. Absolutely positively notice that. And when prices on items go up, people tend to buy less, and that's the concern. I guess I feel fear about losing my business. Some economists say grocery stores feeling the effects of an import tax are just the tip of the iceberg, adding that increased food costs would also hit the restaurant industry in unforeseen ways. Keeping you connected, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26. The Mexican import tax was mentioned as only one option to pay for a border wall. No official proposal made yet.